underneath that street, I believe the fiber comes down into the village. And then somehow they have a line that goes underneath this and into the bottom of this pole. This is how I think it comes in. Up through the earth here and up this up this pole. Caution overhead fiber it says. I wonder what these black loopy things are. Can you see that? I'm not sure what they are myself. So then it goes up, up into another black box. I don't know what to make out of this. What is that? Does anyone know what this is called? The black box at the start of my parents' property? Now, confusingly, confusingly there's two lines that come out of the, the down this pole. And I think one of them is the old copper and one of them is the new fiber optic. I'm actually surprised they kept the copper one in there, in all honesty. But that's the way it is. I noticed they actually put up a new pole here, which is interesting. I like the color. And then of course, both lines are coming and leaving. It's actually quite a stretch. Quite a stretch all the way over there. Those two lines. In this pole, there's a couple of things I don't really know what they are. That gray box and that black box to the side. Actually, there's a little bit on the back I noticed. What is that? What is that? So the line comes across those horrible conifers which kind of rub against the cable, so... But I, I guess at least with fiber you know where the break is. Then it goes on the top of the house. And then there's that slack cable. It goes there. Now this is where I'm confused. There's one cable coming across here, but there's two cables leading up to that those conifers. And then it goes to that gray box, and then you'll see two cables come out again when you see me giving a tour to my friend, Jamie. I'm going to explain my fiber internet connection to Jamie. Like his fiber. And then it comes along, yeah, there's a lot of slack there because evidently there's a lot of uh, shrubbage. And, but when they cut down, then there's that big thing. So I, I don't really like that big thing. This way it gets confusing. It goes into that box on the top. You see that gray box? So have you seen the cause to this? Like, is it protected? Does it have metal metal around it? Like, I don't, what if it, what if there's a wind? It's just a plastic box. And then the strange thing is that plastic box comes down into this plastic box. This open reach thing. Right. Why is that strange? Because why go into a terminal? Why go into that? So that you can reach it easily? The customer service point. Okay. There's, so there's a customer service point down there. That's perfectly reasonable. And me. then there's another gray box up there. And then it goes back up. Right. And, and, and into this room. And that room will go into um, the, another point. Uh, are you going to explain why it goes into that upstairs room instead of downstairs? Because. Later. Well, I can explain it now. It, it did use, that's a good question. It did used to actually come into here is the old telecommunication line, the copper one. The problem here is that there's no power here. So that's why we're going upstairs because the new termination point requires power. Right. I feel like they didn't plan it too well because it goes into my room where my, my baby's sleeping. So we're not going to do that. Okay. And then, oh okay, God. Whisper. Why are we going here then? And then it comes into this great box. High five him. It comes into this box here. It comes through the wall here. Oh my God. Then it comes into this box here. Wait, where does it come through you the wall? You see that white cable? Yeah. That's fiber. It comes through the wall. Wait, that's fiber now? Yeah, that, that, that thin white cable. This, this one's fiber. This, right. this one. Right. Goes into this box which requires power. This is why it's upstairs. Then it goes up here. And this is actually the PPPOE termination box. This is where I connect to Andrews and Arnold. Right. To this microtech. 
It's got a weird like fabric cover over it. Because my mother doesn't like the shiny lights. Okay, it's not overheating. It's fine so far. Now, th now there's a network cable going back into the, the room. And then there's also a network cable that goes to a, a, a an internet camera outside. That's what that black cable here is for. You can't see the black cable outside because it's actually neatly going outside and then along the black, what do you call it, alcove? One of those lines goes to the cottage and one of those lines goes around the house. Let me show you this. One line comes out, goes to the cottage. One of them. Another line comes down through here. I think we tucked it under this black thing and it comes down if I remember along here yeah you can see it it runs along it runs along here we go again it, it's running it's running it's, it's still running back this black line, Cat 5E, this black line, comes, you see that black line? And it goes into this wall. It's the same wall that was drilled out by a satellite uh, connection. And these dishes, these two dishes over here, we actually want to take down because we don't even use them anymore. It goes through the hole here and comes out. That that black line that goes like around the outside of the house comes in over here. So th then it goes into this access point. You see the black, the green one? That's the one that comes from the outside. And then the rest of the cables pretty much goes into the TV and the other entertainment system. And then the, one of the cables goes along the floor here, probably behind the white thing. You can see it comes out again. It comes out again, it goes into that bundle that looks a bit ugly behind the chair, comes along here, goes underneath the carpet, and then into this access point. And then this access point, importantly, gives us the te home telephone. That's how the home telephone works. It's basically just a void box. Well, where's the Wi-Fi? There's an access point there. There's an access point behind the TV. There's an access point upstairs where we began our journey. And there's an access point in the, in the cottage. So there's four access points. Hmm. So what do you think? Could it be improved? It seems very complicated. Could it be simplified? Seems like it. I don't know. It seems a bit late for that. You don't want to rewire your whole house, do you? Yeah. I think it's the best it could be considering.